back here about three years ago and do some research on the history of the neighborhood and some writing and um, in the process got to meet a lot of you all um, so thanks for coming out um, I, I assume that you're here because you love Kenilworth also or you want to learn to love Kenilworth um, people love Kenilworth I think for a lot of different reasons there's the Kenilworth Aquatic Gardens that are a lot of folks are familiar with um, with the Anacostia River behind it uh, Kenilworth Park um, maybe some of you know Kenilworth mostly from Kenilworth Avenue, the highway, um, going in and out of the city. Then you kind of fly by Kenilworth Courts on the highway. Um, some of you love Kenilworth because of Kenilworth North Courts, and uh, um, it's your home, and you live here, and it's significant to you. And um, uh, I think a lot of you remember the, the proud history of uh, Kimmy Gray and the tenant management movement. Um, and the, the national uh, success that that was for many years here. Um, so a lot of you love, uh, some of you love Kenworth for that reason. Um, so we're all together here from a lot of different places. Um, I see people here from all over the city, and I see people, a lot of people here. Patrick Designer, he designed this brochure, so I gave him the pictures and the text, and he sat down at his computer and made it look really nice, and took care of all the printing um, connections. So thank you very much to him. And his wife Janelle also decided and provided us with some of our drinks today. Um, thanks for getting those, Janelle. And uh, finally, District Creative Printing um, gave us a nice price break on the brochure, so thanks to them. Um, I think that's the thanks I wanted to say. So I'm going to flip off some lights here and take you through this slideshow, which was flipping, um, which was going as you came in. Um, as I said before, Kenilworth is many different it's many different places, um, and you each know a different story of Kenilworth. Um, a lot of you know Kenilworth Courts, um, but maybe you don't know that the original Kenilworth was a white trolley suburb um, that was formed here by a real estate man in 1895, who a real estate guy who wanted to make some money. Um, so there's a, a, broad, a broad history to the story of Kenilworth that uh, you'll get an introduction to by looking through some of these photos. Um, I call the slideshow Kenworth Then and Now, and so we'll see some historic photos of the neighborhood, and then some current photos of the neighborhood, uh, how, how those, those places look now. So um, this is Kenworth Then in 1929. The stone in this picture is um, the boundary stone. It was placed in the 1700s, the mid-1700s, by the Bell family. The Bell family uh, were wealthy Peachy County landowners uh, who had um, land in this area, and this is the marsh actually back behind where the Mayfair Parkside neighborhood is now. So, um, if you can, if you know Kenilworth Park at all, and the Mayfair Mansions neighborhood and Watts Branch back behind it, um, this is Anacostia River marshland. So you're looking at Anacostia River marshland. You can kind of see the river there, and then the hills in the background are the arboretum on the other side of the river. And this stone, like I said, was placed in the 1700s and was found in the marsh. And Charles Shaw, who was the son of the man who started Kenilworth Aquatic Gardens, took this photo um, of that historic stone. That stone is lost now, um, and nobody knows where it is. So if you're going around the city sometime, you see a stone that looks like that, <laughs> let me know. It, it, uh, it might have a marking um, called Fife on it. Fife was the name of the, the early um, plantation and the early land name for it. Um, in then, so this was what is Kenworth Park now, where that stone was, in the 40s became Kenworth Dump. 
and the trash from almost all of the city was brought to Kenilworth Dump and dumped there and burned. Um, and here you see a picture of uh, the trash that's dumped there, and they're actually beginning to cover over some of the trash, and you see it burning. Um, there's some stories about that in, in your booklet and some other pictures, but it wasn't so... From marshland, it became a dump, and then it became a park. Um, in the 1970s, they covered over all the trash, stopped burning, um, covered over all the trash with dirt, and turned the place into a park, which is Kenilworth Park now. This is the, the old exercise trail um, that was dedicated there in 1979. And this is how Kenilworth looks today. It's uh, green fields that people use for uh, soccer and rugby and other sports. And there's a recreation center there that's um, used by a lot of local, um, local kids. And there's some great football teams, a great tradition of football teams um, there, local football teams. All right, this is the Anacostia River, which is uh, back behind Kenworth Aquatic Gardens. We are a neighborhood along the river. We can't access the river um, really well because we're separated from it by marshland and the aquatic gardens, but we are a neighborhood that's right on the on Anacostia River. And this is an early 1900s picture of the river. Uh, that's the train bridge that's at New York Avenue, if you know where the New York Avenue bridge is. That train bridge is still there, and there's another bridge there now, which is the, the, uh, the highway bridge, the New York Avenue highway bridge. And uh, notice especially the, um, the marsh plants along the edges of the river. Um, those were taken out during some uh, Army Corps of Engineers dredging work in the 30s. Uh, so it looks like this now. That's a current picture of that area of the Anacostia River. So you still have the trees and everything, but you see that the banks of the river are just mud instead of having um, the, the plants. So we feel um, a lot of folks are working today to bring those plants back. It was a challenge to work in resident management. 